How to implement exception handling in C Sharp? Exception handling in object oriented programming is used to manage errors. Here you can see keywords try, catch, and finally. A try block is a block of code inside which any error can occur. Okay. Now, when any error will occur in try block, then it is passed to catch block to handle it. In real applications, if any error in try block, then inside the catch block, we write the exception in the logs files. Okay. So that later developers can see that log files and can fix that error. At last, finally block is used to execute a given set of a statement, whether an exception or error occur or not. For example, in this case, you see finally is printed even we got the error by dividing 0 by 0. If no error, then still the finally will be printed. That is the use of finally. Can we execute multiple cache blocks? The answer is no. We can write multiple cache blocks like this. But when we will run the application and if any error, error will occur, only one out of them will be executed based on the type of the error. See in the code here, we have two catch blocks, but when application will run and error will come, then only one out of this catch blocks will run at a time. Now you can ask then why we have written multiple catch blocks here. The reason is might be you want to handle different errors in different ways. For example, suppose if there is an arithmetic exception error, you want to write some alert. Okay. But for other errors, you do not want to write any alert. So that is the purpose of multiple catch blocks. When to use finally in real applications. For example, here you are declaring a SQL connection and then you are opening it, right? Now due to any reason, if some error will occur here, then how the connection will close because con dot close statement will not get executed, right? And if your connection will remain open, that that is not good for performance. So for that reason, we can have the finally block. And you can write this con dot close inside the finally block so that whether error will occur or not, this will always run. So the answer is finally block is mostly used to dispose the unwanted objects when they are no longer required. That is good for performance. Otherwise, you have to wait for garbage collector to dispose them. Can we have only try block without catch block? The answer is yes, we can have try block, but then we must have finally block without catch block. Okay, so this is the code here. There is no catch block. Okay, but when we need the try and finally together without the catch. Now this inside the try block, if the co uh, code go inside if condition, then the method will return from here, right? And the lines after this will not be executed. The con dot close will never executed. So to make sure it will execute, we will put this con dot close in the finally block. Now you can return from anywhere in the method, but the finally will definitely execute. That's why try and finally are sometimes good without the catch. What is the difference between finally and finalize? This is a silly question. Their name is somewhat similar, but they have no relation. But as it is an important question, so we will cover it. Finally is used for exception handling, right? Finalize is a method which is automatically called by the garbage collector to dispose the no longer needed objects. Garbage collection I will explain in other videos. But these are the differences between finally and finalize.